Oh, I want to listen to the Florence and Machines versions now. I feel it's going to make me cry. Did you guys ever play? So I, I've only really played one, two. Okay, maybe this is more than I, I realized. I've, I've played one main Final Fantasy game, which was Final Fantasy 3. And I've played an offshoot, which is Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I think it was, which is like the the one where Zack is the main character. And then I've watched my friend play Final Fantasy XV, which basically is like me playing it. So I'm going to say I played that game. And um, I guess I played Final Fantasy XIV, but that's not really like the same kind of Final Fantasy game. It's, an, it's like... Okay. Oh god, it's all sticking. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. This is all... Ooh, look how brown this is! Isn't that a pretty color? That's flavor, y'all. I probably should have done it for all of it, but... It's, like, sticking and probably gonna burn. Ooh, that, that one looks good. Okay. So I'm gonna let that... Ooh, it's like... I thought... I thought if I poured the... If I thought it would be liquidy enough, but it's like mostly chunks of garlic in there. Okay, great. I'm gonna rinse it a little and add some of the water from the rinse into that. You guys, have you ever played Yoshi's Island? And then the version of Yoshi's Island, the level where he's in Woozy World and he eats like those fluffies and he gets woozy. This song sounds like it. It's super cute. I like it. Okay, I'm just adding water and pouring off like the extra bits of garlic and spices. Alrighty. And now we just close this up and let it cook, right? Is that what the recipe says? Yes. And so we're gonna put this lid on. Oh god, how does it go on? Do you like do you like hearing that? It goes slowly when it's off. Like, as if it doesn't have power. And that's how fast it's supposed to go. When it still has power, it, even though I just turned it off, it, it, uh, it's still kind of loud. Okay, or like fast when it makes the sound. Okay, now I gotta make room in this area, which is putting instant, oh wait, hold on. Sorry, I can't cook the instant pot here. Oh wait, never mind. We're just gonna put the, we're gonna unplug the microwave. We don't need that right now. Pressure cook. Put it in seal position for the next 60 minutes. That's a very long time. We're just gonna do 55 minutes, five minutes less because I did half the recipe and because I don't know what I'm gonna do for 60 minutes while that cooks. Um, if I'm not gonna be moving a lot, then I might as well improve my diet. I don't know if eating pork and rice is improving my diet necessarily, but technically I've sort of improved my diet this month because I have not eaten out except for once because someone treated me, so I didn't buy the food. Um, but it was mostly to save money, which I have, so that's great. But also it has helped because I haven't eaten any fast food for the whole month, so that's cool too. Um, and in order to help me become more fit, I bought like a weighted hula hoop. I bought a weighted hula hoop. And um, I've had a hula hoop in the past and I think it's a really fun way to work out, but then I gave it up pretty easily. So it wasn't like a good idea. So now I bought this hula hoop with my own money cause the other one I like inherited. So now I will hopefully put some effort into what I'm doing <laughs> to work out. Is there a listening rule at listening party, like no crunchy food? Honestly, people weren't like listening to the music all that much. They were just like socializing, which is cool. I appreciate that. But then at the end I was listening to music or well, that's what I said to people, but I was just falling asleep. <laughs> Not because the music was bad, but because I was sleepy. Like I had been up till 4 a.m. the previous day. So like Friday night, I was up till 4 a.m. Then I went to sleep and I woke up at 10.30 
And then I went trampolining from... What the heck? How long did I... I trampolined until 5 p.m. But we only had a 90-minute session. It's just that my friends were that late meeting up with us. So the time before that... Oh, I made scallion pancakes, too. Like, in between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., I made scallion pancakes. Like, I can't remember the exact time. Now I gotta charge these batteries. I'm so afraid of, like, my stream, like, dying again. Or, like, at least the sound dying. So, I think next time I'm just gonna have some pre-charged batteries lying around. But thankfully that, it's, it says it's full battery, so I think we're good at, sort of. Whew, okay. So anyway, that's gonna do its thing. I think we're gonna move this. I need like to make room in this area because I'm going to be moving some stuff here. Okay, do this and this and this. Okay, so do that. And then we put the garlic away because we don't need it anymore for the rest of the dishes we're going to do, thankfully. Because I love garlic, but I don't like peeling garlic. I could probably just buy pre-peeled garlic, but I watched a video a while ago about um, like pre-peeled garlic and how they can make it like cheap to get. And there's factories, there's, there, was, there was a video from a factory, or not even a factory, it was a jail. It was a jail and then these, um, because they were in a jail, like they were being forced to do these things. It was a different country, it wasn't the US. And um, they were being forced to like peel the garlic and the garlic is easier to peel when it's wet. But when you're you're peeling garlic constantly with like wet fingers or your fingers are wet constantly, then your nails come off. So I was just like, that's horrific. So it just turns me off from like peeled garlic. And also like, I, it would be easier for me, but I feel like the it's something I can deal with as a mild inconvenience from something like seeing something like that like just it was horrifying the bottom and then just be loud okay cool so in here we add two large eggs one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar that's a lot of sugar but I don't want to measure it out I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna go back to taking it out with a spoon because I need 250 grams of sugar gosh there's a lot of sugar in this thing we're just gonna pour it out because it's a smaller container Two hundred fifty? Is that real? That's real. That's the correct measurement. Two forty-six. Perfectly fine. All right. Now, did you guys know that flour and sugar have an expiration date? I have a hard time believing that as well, but they do, according to the the bags that I bought them in. All right. So we get two eggs. Right, that is uno egg and dos eggs. And then we whisk vigorously. It says I'm supposed to whisk this for a whole minute and seriously time it. All right, we're gonna put a timer onto my Fitbit. Not for an hour, for, ah, oh, darn it, not an hour. I said one minute. Where's the minute mark? Okay, and start. Whisk vigorously. You're gonna have nightmares tonight about the cilantro and garnish. Does anybody else get that metal soap taste with cilantro? Not personally, but um, I do know some people who are like that. Flour doesn't expire until I see bugs in it does not work out because then like the batter can get between the cupcake mold and the tin and then um, you just cry. You just cry because you're like this looks ugly and it didn't cook right and you're just like okay well let me just move on with my life. This batter reminds me a lot of um, banana bread batter. It's very thick. 
Okay, and then we rotate so we can put some on this side. You like that rotating trick? I learned that because I was like, why would I, I used to, uh, what is it called? What I did was I used to just like go across, all the way across to fill it. And it, that was like a waste of time. Like why, now that I think about it, like why would I do that? Plus then I would spill batter in between and then that would burn and it would smell bad and it was just bad all around. <laughs> I've learned a thing or two, even though I haven't baked cupcakes in a while. I remember these skills from the bad experiences I had baking cupcakes. I might actually be overfilling these tins. Whoops, well, too late now. It's kind of hard to take out batter from something that you've already filled. It's possible, just I am too lazy to do so. Okay, that looks lovely. All right, then, so now the oven is pretty sure preheated. Um, I'm going to take out like the oven thermometer that's in there. Oh, crud, what the heck? I must have been like leaning against this because I had it set at 350. I hope it's not 350. Lantro, and I still smell my salon pass. I'm gonna chop this up like pretty fine because it has the stem in it too. We're actually making cilantro rice moist muffins, so I think the cilantro is pretty important if it's in the name of the dish. And then I don't think my muffins are that close to being done, so I'm gonna add like two more minutes to it as I keep chopping up this cilantro. I think next time I'm gonna use a bigger cutting board or put less cilantro to be cut at once. But for now it's fine. Add all of the cilantro. And the cilantro is gonna give it that speckled green color. Okay, there we go, there we go. see like big pieces of stems I didn't cut up. Ooh, that's not gonna be good, but hopefully if I just microwave the rice all together, it's just gonna wilt it all. <laughs> ah, and it's instantly prettier. Yes, good, yes, good. All right. Mmm. It tastes so good. I just gotta get these tongs clean first. Okay. Let's get this out. the meat pieces out right now. Oh gosh, there we go. So I got some meat that's already like falling apart. That is lovely. How do I get this out though? Please come out. Oh, there's the bay leaf. I forgot about those. So get the bay leaf out or like at least away from the meat here. And then last piece of meat. This one has a lot of fat on it and like a bay leaf sticking to it. Ah, yes, so there's not not much meat that came out of this. That to the side. Here's our meat right now. I feel like I don't even need a fork. I can just use, oh yeah, look at that. I can use the, um, what should move is it right now? To break it apart, the, what is it called? The tongs, I can use the tongs to break apart the meat. That looks so good. I hope it tastes really good because, just because like the mixture that I tasted earlier didn't taste very good to me, so. I hope this is good. 
And there's a lot of sauce that looks like it's left over, but that's actually the sauce that would have been intended for um, two times the meat, but, <coughs> excuse me. But I, instead I used half the meat because I didn't have any more pork available, but that's okay too. Use what you have. And yeah, this is like pulling apart in a really nice way to me. Like it's, it's soft enough to pull apart, but it's not like, it's not super fall apart like it's disintegrating. Okay. I kind of want to put it back in the sauce so that I, I just have like that flavor soaking up again. But I don't want to be fishing out like the shredded meat from the sauce. So we'll do that later. I'm surprisingly being patient about trying a piece of this meat. Okay. Cool. That looks good. I think that's all, all shredded up. This is what happens when you shred on a plate and you can't see what you're shredding. All right. So here's a piece. Mmm. This is an excellent pork recipe.